Hello, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas, and today we're here to talk about HP ProLiant DL380P Gen 8 memory upgrades and how to load the system. Wanted to start off by noting that this video is specifically for the uh, DL380P Gen 8. Uh, some people might have the DL380E Gen 8, which is slightly different. The RAM that it takes is the same, except for that it's going to have less slots. So we'll, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, this machine has uh, two CPU sockets. Uh, it takes Intel E5 2600V1 and V2 series CPUs, which is an LGA 2011 socket. Uh, there's 24 DIMM slots, uh, which improves from uh, the old gen, the DL380 Gen 7, from 18 up to 24. Uh, this also takes DDR3 memory, uh, but one of the differences is that not only does it take ECC registered, which is known as RDIM, it also takes load reduced memory, known as uh, LRDIM, which is the improvement from the G7 to the G8. Um, with the RDIMs, uh, because there are uh, 24 uh, memory uh, slots, it the max is a, a little bit different than the LRDIMs. The max is a uh, total of 512 gigabytes, um, and you can get there with 16 32 gigs uh, that can go all the way up to 1600 megahertz. Now on the flip side with LRDIMs, uh, you can go all the way up and, and max out all 24 slots uh, with 32 gigs and go all the way up to 768 gigabytes. And you might ask why can you do with LRDIMs 24 slots as opposed to ECC registered only doing 16 slots? That's a great question. That is known as what we call as the rank rule. And the rank rule is fairly simple um, and this goes across um, all uh, all DDR3 boards, HP, Dell, Supermicro really doesn't matter. Um, it, the same rule applies for all of them. Basically it states that for every memory channel you can have a total of eight ranks. And this is very important because all 32 gigs are quad ranked. So if you're going to be putting in ECC registered, uh, the problem that you run into is uh, with quad ranked DIMMs, you can only put two per memory channel. So if that channel has three DIMM slots, basically you can only utilize two of them, which is why you get 16 as opposed to 24. With LR DIMMs, it basically just breaks the rank rule. It's a better technology and it just throws it out the window and you can load it fully up even though they're quad rank and it doesn't matter. So for that reason, we actually always tell people uh, if you're going to uh, buy 32 gigs to go with LR DIMMs just because even if you're not maxing it out now, uh, let's say you're only going to put in 16 now, maybe you want to max out later, we don't want to have to, th you know, basically resell the old 16 that you bought, you might as well just start with LRDIMs and it's easier to scale up. So anyhow, let's uh, get going on this. I want to open this up, um, show you how to actually load everything. Um, I'll show you the channels, which kind of will help maybe understand the rank rule a little bit better. Uh, but before we get going, first things uh, first, I need to get my ESD gear on. You really shouldn't ever be inside the system if you're not wearing ESD or you could shock it and potentially damage the board. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. All right, we have our ESD gear on, our uh, gloves and our jacket and our wrist guards actually under here. Um, first things first, you just need to set, make sure the latch is set to unlock. Simply click it and pop it open and you can remove the top. And voila, we are in the system, very easy. Um, you will notice that uh, there is an air baffle uh, on top that is, uh, or an air shroud, depending on how you want to call it, uh, that is going to be protecting the airflow and you have to physically remove this to be able to uh, get to the RAM or to get to the CPUs. Um, some of them you'll know you can just like pull right up. With this model you can't. You actually need to look at these two blue tabs and you click them in and you can pull it up. Same thing goes when you're actually putting it back on. You need to actually hold them in to make sure it clicks in and then let them go. And you'll notice if you don't, let's say you put it on like that and you think you got it and it, you can kind of you know jam the top back in but it's really not actually on. So just a quick note for you on how to actually put the shroud on. Um, so currently, you'll see that um, there's this specific model actually only has one CPU in it right now. Um, I recommend whenever you're using a machine like this, you should really have two CPUs. But if you only have one CPU, uh, then you can only use the DIMMs uh, that are all, that are with that CPU. Uh, all the DIMMs on this side of the board are with it. All the, you know, the 12 DIMMs over here are with CPU too. Um, if you were to put these modules over here, it just simply wouldn't register it, and then you'd wonder why it's not working. Why? It's because you don't have a CPU. So um, you'll also notice there are 24 DIMM slots. Um, HP has them color coded, just like most manufacturers out there, um, and that helps you to understand how many DIMMs there are per channel. So as we talked about, two CPUs. Each CPU has 12 DIMM slots. There are four memory channels. Each memory channel has three DIMMs per channel. Uh, that is the incredible importance for the rank rule when it comes to uh, ECC registered. Um, and you can even see that 
uh, it goes white, black, black, white, black, black, uh, so you know how to load the ECC register. So if you were to use quad rank, because a lot of people do like to use quad rank, you would put it in the first, excuse me, the first white and the second black. You'd leave the third slot, the second black empty, um, and then you would load it across the board for 16, basically always leaving the third uh, slot of the channel empty. Uh, that's specifically for ECC registered quad rank. For LR dims, as we talked about, just load, load it completely up, uh, best way to do it, okay? Uh, so now I'm actually gonna physically show you how to take them out, put them back in. It's very simple, it's just like any other motherboard for, for the most part. Uh, you're just gonna simply click the tabs and pull the modules out. Click the tabs and pull the modules out, very simple. Personally, I always like to put my hand on top of it because uh, sometimes the modules, when you click the tab, will just go flying up. Um, and with these four gigs, I, you know, I'm not so concerned because they're old four gigs, but let's say you have a 16 gig or 32 gig in there and it flies out, you could actually damage the lead because it'll come back down and hit wrong. So, all right, now I'm gonna uh, show you how to load it up. For this model, we're actually just putting in, uh, we're loading up completely with 16 gigs. We're putting in a second CPU for the customer. Um, but I wanna note a couple of things before we get going. Uh, first thing is, you will see that uh, the module itself has a notch or a key in the middle. Uh, this is important because if you were trying to load uh, a DDR4 module or a DDR2 module, it physically just would not fit into the system. If you try to grab a desktop module and put it in here, it physically would not fit in the system. The manufacturers have made it this way to prevent users from making errors. But on the flip side, because it's not in the middle, you do have to be careful on how you're lining them up because the, the notch on the inside does flip from some of the sockets depending on which side is on. So if you put it in wrong, you can again damage uh, the leads and potentially damage the module or even worse, damage the socket which then makes the whole motherboard useless and you have to buy a whole other motherboard. So just be, be careful when you're loading it to make sure that you're lining up the, the notches. Again, very simple stuff, but just be careful with it, okay? So I'm gonna show you how easy it is to do. Uh, I won't do the whole thing because I don't wanna waste anybody's time and time is money. So uh, we'll just do a couple of them and show you how easy it is. So simply just pop them in. And you gotta hear the click, and you know it's firmly in there, okay? And again, just make sure you have it all lined up. Oop. Pop it in there, hear the click, and you're doing good. So we'll just do a few of them real quick, and then I'll show you how to close it up, because you don't need to watch me. And this is one thing I always tell people too, is that when you are, uh, if you're looking to try to improve the performance of your server uh, and try to get extra life out of it because uh, Gen 8 is still relatively new but you know right now at this moment HP is already on to Gen 10 um, and, and to, to get a Gen 10 server is going to cost you you know $10,000 depending on the configuration or more um, which nobody wants to spend that kind of money if you're just looking to try to in extend the life honestly the memory is the best way to do it uh, because really the CPUs are so far ahead of everything else that uh, really this this is the the easiest and the cheapest way uh, to, as a kind of a band-aid to uh, preserve a few more years of your system, uh, especially if you're doing some simple stuff as, uh, you know, file uh, sharing or, or email hosting or, uh, you know, virtualization. Uh, this is a, a great system for that. So anyhow, um, what we're going to do after we're done with the video is completely load everything up, but I wanted to show you how quick, you know, we just did six modules and I don't know, maybe a minute or two, and you can get this thing filled up pretty quick. So let's show you how to put it back together. So as we talked about, you need to push the tabs to make sure this clicks into place. And you heard a nice little click. And you can check by just lifting up the air baffle and you'll see there's no wiggle room, so it's all good. Um, and then you simply just put the top back on. So it's really simple to do this machine as a whole. All right, there we go. Uh, so if you guys have any questions um, or need any memory upgrades as a whole, please feel free to reach out to us at sales at cloudninjas.com. That's sales at cloudninjas.com. Thanks for stopping by and have a wonderful day.